Now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some pictures here coming in from our five news crews who were on the ground in Prairie Grove. Photos taken here of Sedgwick Drive. Yeah, here you can see the dent in the truck, but also there's a piece of wood that's in the tire showing how powerful that wind was. It flipped over RV. I mean, a lot of people waking up to a scene like this this morning. Yeah. The Prairie the Grove mayor reporting 80% of people in the town without power this morning. Police department also confirming damage to the aquatic park, the baseball complex. But the good news is they say that all paths to work this morning in Prairie Grove are clear, except for they have East Cleveland Street shut off right now. Now, crews are there on the streets in Prairie Grove say they're just trying to get an idea of how widespread the damage is. Yeah, Vine News reporter Morgan Wrigley is in Prairie Grove, and she was just telling us a little bit ago that a lot of people, as we mentioned, without power, including the school. And so, Morgan, what does this mean for kids this morning? Yeah, guys, I do have an update for you right now. We knew that the school was waiting until 6 a.m. to make an official decision. I just got this information. This is coming from the superintendent that Prairie Grove School District will be on a delayed start today. The district will continue monitoring the situation, but start time for schools will be at 10 a.m. We know that that's when power is expected to be restored. And buses will not run, though, until power is restored. Campus doors will open at 930 for parents to drop off their kids. But the district does ask parents to know this is a fluid situation based on the power situation and the district still may cancel school if there's still no power closer to 9 a.m. Now that they've been told that power is probably going to be restored before that it definitely expected by 10, but it's a very fluid situation. So just keep an eye on that if you are a Prairie Grove parent. Now, taking a look at the damage where we are right now, we're in the neighborhood. This is on Sedgwick, Sedgwick Drive, and we've been showing a lot of pictures of this area here. We know that most of the damage was in kind of these residential areas, and crews are continuing to monitor that. A lot of times when we look at storm damage, we see a lot of downed power lines and trees blocking the roads. But like Tiffany and Joe mentioned, crews have been working all night. They've cleared most of the roads, so that's good. That's going to give them a clear path to continue working today. We'll check back in with you guys in just a bit. For now, back to you.